What's up guys and welcome to the first supplemental Excel series for the Financial Analyst Complete Guide to Excel. So for our first discussion, we have a two-part video lecture series where we're going to further explore several class topics including sorting and filtering, index match, and pivot tables. But we're also going to take this a step further and we're going to discuss dashboards, presentation, and more. So I'm going to introduce you all to a new concept called the unique identifier. And this is an additional enhancement to the index match formula. So get excited for that one. If you haven't already signed up for the course, these topics and many more are discussed in my Udemy class. So do yourself a favor and sign up now. All right, let's get into it. So for today's lesson, we're gonna switch it up a bit and we're gonna be looking at some football stats. So I'm on the NFL.com website and I'm showing the list of the league's top 25 rushers for 2021. So the NFL compiles a list of statistics leaders from every category, and this dates back to 1970. And so for this example, we're going to use Excel to create a search box that displays rushing records by player name, year, and rushing category. So for instance, if I wanted to immediately display Derrick Henry's touchdowns from 2018, I can use Excel to quickly and easily do this. Now, if you're already asking yourself, why are we looking at football stats in a finance class and how is this applicable to my job? The answer is that this exercise can be applied to finance in many ways, such as tracking accounts payable on a monthly basis, locating revenues from a past year, presenting information to clients, and so on and so on. So this is a very useful tool to keep in your pocket. So with that being said, let's move over to Excel now. We're back in Excel and what you're looking at here is the information we just saw on the website, but in spreadsheet form. I've included a link to the spreadsheet in the description below. So if you haven't already, pause the video now and download this resource. And in case you're curious, I use the programming software Python to pull this information down from the NFL website. If you're interested in learning how to do this for yourself, just leave me a comment or shoot me a message and I'll walk you through the basics of using Python to pull tables from the web. Now, by default, this data is organized by most rushing yards per calendar year. So for example, in 2021, Jonathan Taylor was the league's top rusher at 1,811 yards, followed by Nick Chubb, Joe Mixon, and so on. We can also see 2020's leading rushers, followed by 2019, 2018, and 2017. So pretty big data set here. Now, first of all, Let's go ahead and apply a filter to this data so we can sort it by one or more criteria. And I've got my mouse in cell A1 right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold Control and Shift and the right arrow key to select all these values in the top row. And now I'm gonna apply a sort and filter to these values. So the manual way to do this is to come up to sort and filter on the home screen. But in the class, we talk about keyboard shortcuts. So let's press Alt H, S, F to filter this data. And now you can see that the filters are applied because you see the little drop down menus at the top. So what I want to do is I want to click on player name and click on the arrow next to player. Let's go ahead and sort A to Z. And now our list is sorted by player name and by the most recent year. So our first step is done. Now before we move any further, let's discuss the concept of the unique identifier. So this isn't something we've talked about yet in the class, but a unique identifier is a distinct key or an ID number that's applied to each record. And the reason this is so important in this example is that several player names appear on this list more than once. So if you look, you see Aaron Jones is on there more than once, Alvin Kamara is on there more than once, you see Carlos Hyde, Christian McCaffrey, and so on and so on. And so let's say that I wanted to use VLOOKUP or index match to populate, say, Aaron Jones's stats from 2019, I can't do that right now. And the reason I can't do that is because Excel's lookup functions will, by default, only return the first instance of the athlete's name. So right now, if I were to use VLOOKUP or index match to search for Aaron Jones, it would return his 2021 stats since 2021 is the first instance where his name appears in the data set. So to address this problem, let's create a unique identifier. And we'll do that by combining each athlete's name with the respective year. So for Aaron Jones, we'd want it to read Aaron Jones 2021, Aaron Jones 2020, 
and Aaron Jones 2019 and Aaron Jones 2018. And so the Excel function to do this is called the concatenate function. To demonstrate this, I'm first gonna come over to column A and we're gonna add a new column and we're gonna adjust the width to 25. And I'm gonna label this column unique ID. Okay, and we'll center justify this. So in cell A2, we're gonna go ahead and set up our first concatenation. So we're gonna say equals concatenate. Text one is A Day Dylan, so cell B2. Text two is 2021, so cell C2. Close it out, press enter. So that's one way to do it. Now the easier way to do it, and this is my personal favorite, is just to say equals B2 ampersand C2. So you get the same result. So we'll come in here, we'll click this plus button. Let's apply it to all the cells. All right, so let's come over to column O, let's set up shop in cell O3. We're gonna set up our index match search. So we're gonna type out Aaron Jones 2019. And we're looking for Aaron Jones's touchdown, so we'll just type TD. Right, justify this. And now in cell P3, I'm gonna set up the index match formula. So equals index. And remember, index is kind of like the map. So this is where all of our data can be found. So this is gonna be columns A through L. Hit comma. For row number, we're gonna say match. The lookup value is our unique identifier. So it's in cell O3. Lookup array is where O3 can be found. This is column A. We're gonna do a match type zero for exact match. And we'll press close parentheses once and hit comma. Now for column number, we're also gonna use a match function. The lookup value is TD for touchdowns. Again, lookup array is where this can be found. So this is cells A1 through L1. Hit comma and an exact match again. And then we'll press close parentheses twice and hit enter. All right, so Aaron Jones had 16 touchdowns in 2019. And if you're a football fan like I am, that's, that's a pretty good stat. So let's say that I wanted to see how many 20 plus yard rushes Aaron Jones had in 2019. So we're just gonna change this up here to 20 plus. It changes to five. So again, there's all kinds of things that you can do with index match. This is a very flexible tool and it's one of my favorites. So if you need to, go back in the class and review this material because this really improved my Excel game when I learned this technique. So while this is kind of cool and it's moderately useful, we want to take this a step further and create a few drop-down menus to improve our search. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to delete everything that we did here and in cell O2, I'm gonna label this player. In cell P2, I'm gonna label this year. And in cell Q2, we're gonna set up our first dropdown. Let's come up to the data ribbon. And we're gonna click data validation and data validation. And we're gonna allow for a list. And our source is gonna be cells D1 through L1, because these are the criteria we're sorting by here. So let's click this down arrow again and hit okay. And now when we come over here, we can sort by all these statistical categories. So I'm gonna select rushing yards as our first example. I'm just gonna right justify this real quick. And now let's create another drop down menu for the player names. But first of all, remember that a lot of these players are appearing more than once. So we're gonna to have to remove all the duplicate entries. So to do that, let's come over to column B. I'm gonna select column B, and press Control C to copy it. I'm just gonna come over to column V since this is out of the way. I'm gonna hit Control V to paste this information. Let's come up to data, remove duplicates, and hit okay. All right. And as you can see here, all the duplicates have been eliminated. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this button that says player, since we already have that at the top. Now let's come into cell O3, and we're gonna allow for a list again. So come up back up to data validation, 
hit data validation. We're going to allow for a list and the source is cells V2 through V65. And we'll come back and hit okay. All right, so now I can select the player name. So I'm gonna select Aaron Jones since our example is based around this one. All right, now we wanna create another dropdown for years. So to make this easy, I'm just gonna go ahead and manually type these out. So we got 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay. We'll come to cell P3 and data validation again, list. And these five cells are the source. So let's hit okay. I'm gonna set this to 2019. All right, and here's where the fun really starts. So we've got our unique IDs, we've got our drop down menus, and now in cell Q3, we're gonna do an index match search, and this is gonna be our output cell right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna say equals index. The array again is A through L, columns A through L. Hit comma. The row number is gonna be match. Now this is where it gets a little funny here. So the lookup value is the unique ID. So we're gonna to have to kind of improvise here. And so to do that, we're gonna use another concatenation function. So we're gonna say B2, excuse me, O3 and P3. And so the way that this would turn out is Aaron Jones 2019. So that's what we're searching for here. The lookup array, again, is column A. Match type is zero. All right, so close the parentheses and this part's done. So hit comma. Now we're gonna use another match function for the column number. The lookup value is this figure here in cell Q2. The lookup array is where Q2 can be found. So this is going to be A1 through L1. You may have been tempted to say D1 through L1, but since the index array is columns A through L, you have to keep it at A and L here. So just take my word for it for now and you'll see as you use this more and more how this is important. So let's hit comma. Match type is zero. Let's close this out twice and hit enter. All right, so Aaron Jones had 1,084 rushing yards in 2019. Let's play around with this a little bit. So let's change this to 2017. Well, it looks like he wasn't available then. So let's say 2021. So we've got 799, which matches what we have over here. Let's change the player name. Let's say Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson's got 1037, which matches what we have here too. So as you can see here, this is a really powerful tool that can be used to search through data sets where there are more than one instance of a value. In this instance, it was the player. Now, again, in finance, you might use this to search for revenues by year, payables by month, and so on and so on. There's lots of different ways you can use this. That does it for this part of the exercise. Now in part two, I'm gonna walk you through how to use different data analysis tools and graphing techniques to display this data in your presentation. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to give it a like. And again, index match and many other concepts are discussed in detail in the Financial Analyst Complete Guide to Excel. This is linked above and in the description below. So I will see you again soon. And until then, enjoy the course.